Hello again. So now we're going to solve this slightly more complicated um, quadratic. This is another uh, quadratic that's going to be solved via the taking of square roots. And so let me walk you through this one. In this case, we have this square term, but now we have a minus 5 and it equals to some number. Now the strategy for solving these square root uh, these uh, quadratics that can be solved by a square root is to get this square term by itself. So we have this minus 5 here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the 5 to the other side. Okay. I'm going to add the 5 to the other side. And I'm going to get this is going to be come down. So it's going to be 2x minus 3 squared equals this negative 5 plus 5 that goes to 0 and then 67 plus 5 68 69 70 71 72 so we can see that this is going to be 72 okay now here we have this term that is being squared equal to a number 72 we recall, now that we've got this square term by itself, that we just take the square root of both sides to get the inside by itself. So in other words, I get 2x minus 3 equals, and remember, since we're going to take the square root, we're going to keep in mind that we have to keep in mind the positive square root and the negative square root. So this will be plus minus the square root of 72 okay so now what I want you to recall here is that the square root of 72 is not a perfect square right if this was the square root of 49 we would know it would be plus minus 7 and then we could set this equal to positive 7 and to negative 7 respectively to solve for the two roots but of course this is 72 so it's not a perfect square so here I'm going to do the factor tree so we can calculate what the square root is going to be. So I know, for example, that 72 is 9 times 8, that 9 is 3 times 3, that 8 is 2 times 4, and that 4 is 2 times 2. Okay? And so what this factor tree tells me is that I can replace 72 inside of the square root sign with 3 times 3 times 2 times 2 times 2. Okay, so that means that the square root, by the way, so one of the things I want you to notice here is that I'm not cluttering the logic of my calculation with this work. And so when you're doing this work on a scratch paper, you can either use a scratch paper or you can use a side of your page to do this kind of calculation, okay? And you should not try to do this in your head by any means. You should always write on your steps because it'll help you, uh, it'll help make this automatic for you. So now we recall that when we're taking a square root, for every pair of the same kind, so for example here 3 times 3, I'm going to be able to pull 1, 3 out of the square root. Here I have another, I have a pair of 2's. So for this pair of 2's, I'm going to be able to pull out 1, 2. And so I'm going to be able to rewrite this as 3 times 2 times the square root of 2. Now this, so let me see here. There's 3. So these, these 2, 3's are replaced on the outside with 1, 3. These 2, 2's on the inside are replaced with 1, 2 on the outside. The remaining 2 on the inside stays on the inside because it has no pair. If it has no pair, we can't pull it out, okay? So then the outside is going to be 3 times 2, which is 6. So I'm left with 6 square root of 2. So that is my square root of 72. Now I want you to realize that this is not by any means a decimal approximation to the square root, but what it is, it's an algebraic simplification of the square root, okay? So now I can replace this line with the following line. 2x minus 3 
equals plus minus 6 square root of 2. Okay? Okay. So now, now I'm going to get the two roots. Okay? So first, I'm going to set this equal to the positive 6 square root of 2. So if I have 2x minus 3 equals to 6 square root of 2. Okay, let me put a little line here. Okay, I can first add the 3. I add the 3, and I get that 2x is equal to 6 square root of 2 plus 3. I divide by 2. I divide by 2, and I get that x is equal to 6 square root of 2 plus 3 divided by 2. Okay? So that's one of our roots. I'm going to rewrite it here. So x is equal to 6 square root of 2 plus 3 over 2. Okay? And then, what I'm then going to do is I'm going to set this left hand side equal to the negative square root of 6 over 2. I mean, the negative 6 square root of 2. So that's going to be like this, okay? So then, similarly, I'm going to add the 3, add the 3, and I'm going to get 2x equals negative 6 square root of 2 plus 3, right? And then I'm going to divide by 2 again. I'm going to divide the left by 2 to get the x by itself. I'm going to divide the right by 2, and I'm going to get x equal negative 6 square root of 2 plus 3 divided by 2. Okay, so let me put that here, and then we'll briefly recap what we got here. Okay. So I just want to recap what we did here really briefly. Okay. So just to recap. What this is, is we had this original equation here. It had a single term, which was squared, and so that alerted us to the possibility that this was going to be a quadratic equation that we were going to solve through taking of the square root. In order to do that, we needed to get this square term by itself, so we had to add this 5 to the other side to get the square term by itself. Okay? That led us to this situation here. Now, we have this square term by itself, and we have that it equals to this number 72. So now we immediately proceed to the next step, which is to get the inside, I take the square root of both sides, because the square root kind of cancels, if you want to think about it, the operation of taking the square. So if I square root this, I get left with just the inside. But when I take the square root of this number, I have to bear in mind that both the positive square root and the negative square root will be solutions. Okay? So from this point where we don't we, we didn't have to deviate from this logic of the calculation. But then we realize, aha, I have to do something to simplify this. And so that goes back to our calculation over here where we're going to calculate the square root of 72. We found our factorization. We used it to simplify it. And so we got this uh, simplified uh, equation here, which was 2x minus 3 equals plus minus 6 square root of 2. Now, from here, in order to get our final roots, which are this one and this one, what we needed to do was we needed to set this left-hand side first to the positive 6 square root of 2, and then isolate x which gave us this result here. And then we have to set this left-hand side to the negative 6 square root of 2, and that's what ended up giving us this um, second root. And that's how you solve this problem. Thank you.